fellow Digital Junior. This is Moss. Moss, and subscribe to going here on YouTube for Digital Junior's. And making this officially the first video I've ever filmed back home from Ferdu this year. Well, to be honest with you, my announcement to of myself going to Sydney Nova or the, the, the Sydney Supernova was my first ever video that I have recorded coming back home from Supernova I mean coming back home from Ferdy this year and mind you that for those that um I was going to do a bit of a vlog about it but then I don't really have anyone to help me with the vlogging and all that kind of stuff and I just wanted to take a break. I did want to take a break of YouTube and I've been ready to do a bit of a vlog while I'm sipping over. But I really did have an amazing time there as well. So to those that have found me there and, and all that kind of stuff, have interacted with me with all the interactions and all that kind of stuff, um, thank you so much for your kind words because I I know that I did have a blast out there being my reptilian self that I am and being loved and and met all those amazing people as well and being loved for being with no without any judgment because that's what caused my but supernova isn't what this video is about you see I am thinking of some other ideas of what videos to do whether it's pride month but we're at the end of June anyway, so Pride Month is basically over, probably um, after tomorrow at least. So I was going to do Pride Month in the perspective of a heterosexual person, as not going to POV episode. But I don't see any use because once it, it's done, it's not going to be out. Um, until at least July and all that kind of stuff. So I was thinking, what else is in the news that I could talk about in these like going up POV episode? And I was thinking of some ideas and all that kind of stuff. And what really brought to my attention is that I've been contacted through TikTok, or some years ago TikTok, wanting me to do a video on this Royal versus Raid situation in America being of a term. Saying that, unless you are an American or something like that, or if you know American politics, you would have known this. But in case that you don't know, Roe v. Wade is basically some sort of a legal case to determine all this bill on whether that abortion would be deemed as a legal medical practice. And apparently, it ended up that it is in America. But then, even though that Joe Biden is the president and the Democrat of the president and all that kind of stuff, like Joe Biden is the president and the Democrats, therefore the left wing, that's usually awful of having abortions and all that kind of stuff. Apparently, the Roe v. Wade case is getting to be a bit more challenged. That there are some politics in America that were challenging this case um, to a point that they decided to overturn. Which means that it is now deemed illegal. That abortions are now, unfortunately, is an illegal medical practice. People that are cheering for that to happen, like the pro-lifers or the so-called pro-lifers but the pro-choice people that are just saying it's my body it's my choice they're not too happy about it not to mention that it did came up to this that stage where women sort of feel that they have no legal control of their body and i know that there's some countries out there where women are not allowed to drive cars women are not allowed to be out there on the streets by themselves or unless escorted by a man and that is what i'm talking about that's in some of the arabic countries like saudi arabia iraq Oman, um kuwait all those middle eastern countries right but i'm talking about this case that's happening in the western world most likely in the United States. I'm trying to challenge myself on whether that I'm going to do this topic because I'm an assigned male at birth. Not to mention that I'm a heterosexual 
mail. And sometimes I thought, well, I was thinking, well, this doesn't really have to do with men, you know. I haven't seen any male YouTubers like Isaac Butterfield, for one, that mainly does videos mainly crapping on feminists and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to wait until Isaac Butterfield do the Rod V. Wade thing. The Rod V. Wade, Wade topic. But then it's coming to be more and more trending because I've seen other male TikTok creators that are doing this as well. You know, that are doing something about women having their rights taken away in the US for what they can and can't do with their bodies. There's been a lot of protests about it. There are pro-choice women and left-wing feminists clashing to those conservative white-wing Christians that are against this idea of abortion. The so-called pro-lifers. There have been some footage of pro-lifers saying, well, begging the women not to get an abortion. And in exchange that they will adopt their baby from them. There are some numerous memes that, about that. Whether they're the, they may be against abortion, but... What if, say for instance, that that baby, or I know there's some case, some things of that there's some medical practice that allows women to donate their, their genetic material to other women, like the old the dags or something like that. To those that are really into pro-life, are uh, being, they're, they're picking and choosing anyway. You know, saying, well, what if, what if the baby ends up being gay? What if the baby ends up being the wrong colour? You know, etc, etc. What if someone that it's not what they want? So, there's some conservative Christians that are not that much pro-life at all. They just, they just want a abortions to be illegal. To be honest with you, I'm pretty much on the pro-choice side. Yes, I know that abortions kill fetuses, right? I do get that, okay? I know that getting an abortion is like getting a transition. You know, in other words, being from, from your assigned birth to what you want to be. In other words, a male that's a sign born as male transitioning to a female. Okay? And yes, it can be permanent. Same with abortions because the fact being is that abortions could literally end up like once someone has an abortion that's just about it. They can't have kids biologically, right? But still, I'm pretty much a pro-choice because yes, I know that abortions kill unborn babies and all that kind of stuff. I do get that. But the reason why I'm for abortions is because of a lot of things. Like, for instance, there's a thing where, basically, where, what if a woman who got raped, right, at a young age, and then being pregnant to the, the rapist baby, and the woman who ends up being raped, and that, in this case, don't want any living genetic material inside her, right? In other words, that she will be carrying a child of a rapist attacker, right? If you were the baby, right? If you were the mum, and if you were having a kid that hasn't have, that don't know who, who's your dad, who's your biological father, 
and then later realise that your biological father raped your mum in order for your mum to have you, right? That is kind of messed up, you know, because it could be an, an accidental birth, to be honest. And I know that's a mean thing to say, right? Same as, for instance, that, you know, but yet the rape victim, that's a woman, would choose to have an abortion because that they don't want to have a baby when they're not ready to, right? But back at it, back at it, well, why not have the baby up for adoption, right? Why not have the other people who generally want that kid and become parents have their little bond of joy, okay? But there's a thing, because the baby may not know their biological father, the one who raped the, their mum, okay? What if, say for instance, that if they had been, if the, if the girl had been sexually abused by their parent, right? And what if, say for instance, that the baby of the mother ends up knowing that the biological father, even though that they do have a dad that loves them, and they consider as their dad, right? And that is the guy that is with them, with your mother. What if you end up finding out that your biological father is your own grandfather that had molested your mum? And don't worry because I sort of have that thing because I know I sort of have that feeling of myself at the moment because my mother was molested as a, as a child as that person, that man, my mum calls him, that was supposed to be my grandfather in my mother's side. Okay? And there's, a, and there's a lot of reasons why people would want abortions. What if, say for instance, that the woman needs to have an abortion because the fact being is that she has some sort of disease that have to give her that choice, that have to make a choice on whether to leave and be childless and not be able to, to produce kids or die from some disease where the only cure is for your baby to have, is for you to have an abortion, right? Like for instance, some, uh, some cervical cancer, okay? That's another thing. Not to mention that even though that I am, I'm a bit of a pro-lifer as in like, like having, as in like, you know, kids, have a right to be, to exist, but at the other hand, I'm this sort of person where that, that's pro-choice, as in, you know, the type of person that is like, my body, my choice, and I believe it's something that should apply to women also. Look, the thing about it is that it's, it's very difficult for me to explain, to be honest, and the only reason why I'm pretty much pro-choice is because I believe that every single human being as long as you can as long as you are able to consent or at least in my case at least someone with human sentience should have a right to choose what to do with their own body right and that is what this role versus race situation is coming from. And 
and how messed up it is that the same country that is trying to illegalize abortions is the same country that's doing absolutely nothing in gun regulation or hardly anything or making it more worse because the fact being is that yeah it's easy to own a gun in America especially if it's high caliber weapons and machine guns and all that kind of stuff so really how is it that in a country where it's where you don't need any guns or any semi like assault weapons or semi-automatic weapons that is mainly intended for military use is allowed to be brought by someone who has no experience in these weapons whatsoever and as far as I'm concerned is mentally ill and and all that kind of stuff are mental nutcases that want to shoot up places and all that kind of stuff and kill other people but yet in America that same country that women can't have abortions and that is what what really concerns me because of the fact being is that people's right to choose what they want to do with their body have been dictated dictated by the conservative Christians who is not that has nothing to do with them that has no relationship whatsoever that is not even a part of their lives and yet dictate what a woman can and can't do and I don't care if I'm a man if I'm a boy saying this and I'm a, an, ass, an assigned boy at birth saying this and I don't care if I'm a heterosexual male but this situation that's been in America right now of Rod versus Raid being right overturned like that even though where Donald Trump is no longer the President of the United States and for the way things are going that I doubt that he will be or hopefully I don't want Trump to be to complete his war term because I had enough, him, enough of him right but yet there's governments out there there's Republicans there's a conservative Christian right rights like right wing conservative Christians are dictating on what women can and can't do with their bodies and for that I don't know what to think that could be a rant that would be more likely a rant that I'm doing and I could go on forever we're like nearly half an hour into this video so I'm just going to end it from there so anyway um, you're more than welcome to comment down what are your thoughts about this Rod vs Raid be way being overturned and all that kind of stuff what are your opinions on that if you do agree with me or whatever or if you do like this content make sure you click the thumbs up button also if you do like the content so far make sure that you press that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel of course I appreciate it if you do and as per usual ways to give me money and my social media is down there if you want to find me on PSN or whatever my gamer tag is elbrudder21 um, same as if you want to meet me if you want to look out for me in Tamriel as long as you have a PS4 and are on the North American Mega Server also please ring the notification bell icon so you can be the first one to know and also um, turn your, on your notifications on I just want to wrap it up by saying thank you so much for watching this to my new subscribers thank you also you're all amazing I love you all 
Uh, sorry that I didn't uh, have my usual upload schedule, especially with uh, Pride Month being over and all that kind of stuff. Even though I don't want to make a video on Pride Month, but I'm just going to wait until next year. And until next time, this is the most musty and subscribe to a guy on here on YouTube, slash online ambassador Blackmarsh, Bruce Dra Dragonius, signing off by saying these words. My name's Kojiwo. Bye for now.